girl love kisses 99 and i'm coming to you today with a quick eye look wearable red it's very rare we can find a red that's really wearable for darker skin tones but i found one and i decided to show it to you and i'm just going to do a quick tutorial it's a few items the red is from nyx one of their uh eyeshadow trios i use a little bit of jesse's girl on top to give it a little bit of sparkle the blue is revlon matte riviera blue which is this one a very pretty blue and as a below brow highlight i just used a little of my revlon matte vintage lace eyeshadow so i'm just going to get started with the tutorial we're going to get through this together in just a few minutes so stay so what i decided to use as a base for this eye is a pure white paint stick and this is from mac i bought this from the um outlet store the cosmetic company store and it's just a pure white paint stick so i put that on first just to prime my whole eyelid and what i'm going to start with is this red from NYX which is this red right here and this is in the trio called it's number 13 and it has cherry cool blue and hot pink so this color is called cherry I'm just going to use a 217 and I'm going to first spray my brush with a little of my fix plus on my brush and I'm just going to pack this color onto my eyelid just all over the lid up to the crease and make sure to really pack that color on because you really want that red to stand out make sure you check it to make sure it's even all the way across so now I'm going to take my Riviera Blue from Revlon Matte and I have this little smudger brush. I think I got this from Walmart. If you can see the tip, it's just like a little cushion brush. It's not really even a brush, it's actually just a cushion. So I'm just going to take this onto the little smudger. And to apply it, I'm just going to press that right into the crease and just right above my lash line. So now I'm going to take, I have so many brushes up here, crazy. I'm going to take, this is a 239 brush, one of Mac's special edition brushes, and I'm just going to blend that in. I'm just going to pull that blue just up almost halfway. I blended that in pretty good. Now I'm looking to check to see if it's even with my other eye. So I might need to add just a tad bit more blue. And now what I use as a below brow highlight, I already did my eyebrow a little bit and I just added a thin line of my painterly paint pot just right below my brow here just to clean it up a little. It's time for me to get my eyebrows done. So now I'm going to take, I think this is another 217 and I'm just going to use this color which is called Vintage Lace from Revlon Matte and I'm just going to use this to highlight below my brow. And now to get that color, the red to pop out just a little bit more, I'm going to use a color called Rouge Flame. And this is from Jessie's Girl. I'm going to use my 217, the one I already had the color on, and I'm going to spray it with a little more Fix Plus. 
and I just tapped a little bit of the color into the lid. I'm going to take this and just go over the red just to give it a little bit of sparkle. And there we have the red all applied. So at this point, what I'm going to do is just take another 217. This is like one of the special editions and just blend this a little bit more into the blue so the line doesn't just stop without gradiating in color. I'm going to do the same to this eye. I just don't want the color to stop midway. So I will be right back to finish off this look. I am back and I just want to use a blush with just a tad bit of color, not too much since the eyes are so dramatic. I'm going to use Gingerly from MAC, which is this one. I'm just going to apply this just to the apples of my cheeks, just to give a tad bit of color. And for mascara, what I decided to use was just some lash stilettos. I already have medium length cluster lashes I applied myself. So I just go over those a little bit with a little bit of mascara. Just to thicken them up a little bit. And give the eyes a tad bit more drama. At this point, you can use a navy blue liner underneath and on top. That's really your choice. And I just want to, you know, let you know that for me, I don't always use liner on my top lids because it makes my eyes look small. At least that's what I think. I'm not really sure. So that's the complete look, wearable red. So I'm hoping you had an absolutely awesome day today. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.